My name is Cameron Britton. I'm with the Georgia Department of Natural Resources, Coastal Resources Division, Habitat Enhancement and Restoration Unit. I'm a uh, marine biologist within uh, the unit. CRD recently deployed 3,700 bags of recycled oyster shell in a section of the Back River in Glynn County, Georgia. Um, this is an area where we had deployed test plots in 2017 that were very successful, so we have high expectations of this restoration project. It's already one of the largest restoration projects that we've done. We're planning on over doubling it in size in 2021. The growth of oyster reefs in Georgia is limited by the availability of hard substrate for the larval oysters to settle on. So restoring oysters is a matter of providing oyster shell or some other hard suitable material for the wild oyster larvae to settle upon. Bagged oyster shell like we used in this project laid directly on the, the mud banks uh, will often get covered up in sediment before the oysters have a chance to get established. Uh, so for this project and similar projects we place the oyster bags on a foundation built of pallets uh, to provide them with a, a bit of a head start uh, in order to give them a chance to get established. We also time our, our deployments uh, in order to maximize our uh, success so that they are the oyster shell is going out uh, during or slightly before the peak uh, spawning period of the eastern oyster. Eastern oysters are a and oyster reefs are a critical ecosystem in the southeast uh, of the United States. Uh, they provide a wide variety of um, ecosystem services including uh, being essential fish habitat for a number of commercially and recreationally important species. Uh, both species that are, are harvested directly inshore, like your spotted sea trout and red drum, as well as uh, transient users that you may see more offshore as adults. Numerous groups have worked with DNR on this to make it, this project possible. Uh, it was funded through a mixture of state and federal funds, as well as donations from the Coastal Conservation Association of Georgia um, and donations of materials from Pallet One as well as numerous volunteers um, donating their time to bag the, the recycled oyster shell.